So I've got Dan Graham, the director at Promo SEO and Fat Rank. And um, today's video is about pay per lead, which is paying a fixed price per lead that's generated. The pay per lead model and what you think to this, um, that businesses in the UK, there's quite a lot of companies out there that are paying, paying per lead as obviously part of lead generation. What's your thought process on it? Uh, yeah, so paper leads another one where there's obviously a certain element of risk atta attached because you're not actually, you know, confirmed, guaranteed to be actually converting that work. So you're paying for a lead that, you know, you could pay for 10 leads that'd be quite expensive in total, but not actually have any conversions from them. So obviously it can leave companies out of pocket from that perspective. Um, we would probably have said, I think you probably agree as well. It's, it's less risky than something like a paper click where, you know, you're actually paying for people to click on your website and then you've got, you know, reliance on bounce rate and reliance on content optimization and everything else to the same way that you're even going to get the lead to begin with. Um, so I suppose from that perspective, you know, at least you get, you're definitely getting a lead. Um, one of the issues that does pop up for me though, is obviously every industry is different. So you could have an industry where that lead costs, you know, a hundred pounds instead of 25 and that, you know, could very, very quickly add up when you're actually getting all those leads in and not converting them. So there's still a risk attached. And, and obviously until you're actually getting a lead, you know, completely for free and paying or conversion, there's always going to be a risk attached. So I think that that's kind of my perspective with it. What would you say with that? Yeah, I mean, it is, it's a lot less risky than doing, let's say, SEO. Um, like, there's certain agencies out there that are pay, companies that are paying agencies £5,000 a month to try and get better rankings, and they're not even getting better rankings. So from that point of view, and they're getting zero from it, zero leads, paying £5,000 a month to try to get better rankings in Google and not getting them. Obviously, there's some good agencies out there that do get in the rankings, and then it's a good long-term investment. But that, I would say, is risky. Very, very risky. Then with regards to um, PPC, I'd say it's expensive, but it's less risky because at least you're guaranteed to be getting the clicks that hopefully you might be able to convert into an inquiry. The paper lead model then is, I would say, even risky, even even less risky than SEO or PPC because, you, like you said, you're guaranteed the lead that comes through. That doesn't mean you're guaranteed to convert that lead. Yeah. Or at least you know when you're getting what you, as long as you give the lead generation company the right parameters. So you want a mortgage and the mortgage has to be a first time buyer and the, the property needs to be over £100,000 in value. <clears throat> if you're getting them leads and you're a mortgage broker, then the pay per lead model could be good for you. And um, the only issue is, like you said, it, that is still risky because you can still then get people that are just, browsing and looking and inquiring now, but might not be looking to go and do it for 12 months. And they might go into the high street bank to use them as being a mortgage broker. But I suppose that does come down to how good the company is at converting the leads um, in the long run to saying whether that model will work. Does a paper lead model work? Absolutely it does. Would I do it now moving forward? Not not now knowing mm -hmm. what we can offer with regards to on obviously a pay per conversion and a pay per performance. How do you think that how obviously we've kind of moved away from um, Facebook ad lead generation, um, SEO, um, PPC leads, pay per lead model now to pay on performance? How do you find that pay on performance kind of compares against pay per lead? Yeah, so I think obviously with all those models you you uh, listed off there, every one of them does have a risk. And whilst paper lead is probably the least risky of, of the lot of them, there's still that risk attached in terms of you don't know what kind of lead type you're going to get. You don't know about the cost of, of the lead, you know, initially. And obviously, if you don't convert them, even if they're really good leads and you happen to not convert them because other ones, you know, other companies have priced up better or whatever the situation is, you might be in a position where you're still out of pocket. So I think comparing it with paper lead, uh, sorry, uh, with paper conversion, where, you know, it's actually just based off what you're actually converting. I mean, that completely eliminates the risk, you know, in on all of those different models, whether it's paying for the lead, paying for the click or whichever one it may be. Um, so I think having no risk at all and just getting the inquiries for free is probably, you know, the best bet for a company because it means that whatever they're getting in, they're not wasting their time thinking, you know, I might not, you know, might actually convert this job and I'll have spent money on the lead. They get the leads for free. It's not until they actually convert the lead that they have to pay. Um, so that kind of just makes life a lot easier for companies. And it helps us to build a better relationship with the clients as well, which is important because we're not, you know, charging them for leads they might not convert. They might not come back with questions like, you know, this isn't the type, the type of lead that we want or this costs, you know, this much money. They kind of, you know, are happy with the leads we're providing them. And it's more actually about the client being a good client for us than it is about 
you know, what kind of leads we're generating them. We have that confidence in ourselves where we can generate companies, good quality leads. And I think by the fact that we're obviously providing the, those leads for free generally means that we want them to obviously, you know, uh, put a bit of effort into, to try and convert them and, and pay as much as they can on the conversions back as well. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it'd be interesting to see um, the viewers watching this. What's your thoughts on a paper lead model? Um, do you prefer the paper lead lead generation model to, let's say, Facebook ads lead generation or PPC lead generation? Have you actually ever teamed up with a company that does a pay on performance? I, I only know of one or one or two companies in the UK that are actually offering a pay on conversion type lead generation model. The reason why we've moved over to that is because if we're being 100% honest, we don't want to be seen as being employees. We want to be seen that we know what a good looking website looks like with regards to conversion. We know and we will test what works best for you from a return on investment model, whether that is Twitter ads, YouTube ads, Facebook ads, um, PPC, SEO, whatever that is, how we generate the inquiries. We only get paid when you convert and make money. So it completely de-risks it from you, but it allows us to quickly go out testing what, what models work. We are very selective with who we choose on the pay on performance, where on a pay per lead, we'd almost accept anyone because we can generate a lead, let's say at 30 pound and sell it at 50 pound, we're guaranteed profit. The pay on performance, we've got to make certain that you as a company are good at converting the leads, that you don't just have something like a, James Dooley at hotmail.com email because it doesn't look very professional. If you as a boiler installation company, I'd want you to have like a James at um, boilerinstallers.co.uk or something along the lines where it's a branded type email. I'd want to make certain that you're, um, you're responding very quickly to the leads that we're generating and also that you're competitive on price, but you're also making good profit. So if you don't make good profit, you can't pay us a percentage of your profits moving forward. Uh, would I recommend a paper lead model? I wouldn't anymore, if I'm being honest, but it'd be interesting to see your thoughts. Leave a comment in the comment section. Are you paying on a paper lead model at present? And get in touch, in, click on the link in the description to see whether you might be interested in the pay on conversion model that we've currently set up.